Exploring the underwater world requires a lot of attention. Some creatures are easy to find, but many others hide in unlikely places, completely still, watching you from the darkness of their shelter. Do you know what we are talking about? Exactly. The Mediterranean moray is one of these marine animals you have to be extremely focused and also very lucky to encounter. But it can't escape our well-trained eyes. What about the hide and seek challenge? Let's start to count. Come with us and meet this unappreciated predator. The Mediterranean moray is a territorial species that frequents rocky bottoms, where it can find the perfect places to hide. We are carefully looking in every corner. Where could it be? Whoa, here it is! After a long search, in fact, we finally meet our first specimen. And that's a score for us. The little head of the fish is emerging from a hole in a rock, and its eyes are curiously looking at us. Its appearance, at first glance, could seem very aggressive, but it's not a dangerous animal. Quite the opposite, it is a shy fish, which usually avoids a face-off with bigger creatures. During the day, it prefers to hide and wait, ambushing unaware prey. But it becomes more active after the sunset, leaving its shelter only for a short time. And being a poor swimmer as juvenile and adult, it maintains eyesight fidelity to a few square meters of reef, wandering around in proximity of its own holes. Moray eels are nocturnal carnivores which mainly feed on benthic fish, cephalopods and crustaceans. We abandon the fish to come back to the lair and start the count once again. One, two, three, many seconds pass. And finally, 100! We examine the bottom of the sea, focusing on every single detail. This species can be found in Atlantic and Mediterranean waters, up to a depth of 100 meters. And holes are not the only places it likes to hide inside. Wrecks, just like this one, and Posidonia meadows are also suitable shelters for the Mediterranean moray. Suddenly, we set another score. The moray is sliding in the seagrass. And that's the only reason we managed to notice the fish. Its coloring, brown, green with yellow spots, perfectly adapts to the environment, making its camouflage very effective. A little bit worried, it gently moves between the limbs, sometimes stopping to watch us. Then it starts to move again, probably looking for something to eat. Once reached the border of the meadow, the moray lays down on the bottom of the sea, only with a head out, completely still. Obviously, it didn't expect us to find it again. Maybe it is a little bit disappointed. 
we try to keep a certain distance not to disturb its daily routine. Observing it early inside the Posidonia, we realize how perfect its camouflage truly is, when it is motionless like a statue. It's the ideal moment for us to breathe. We move to the surface and start to recover before diving once again. We use this time to count and give the fish a third chance to hide. Then we put on the snorkel to check the moray from the surface. We glance at the meadow, but unfortunately the fish is nowhere to be seen. We take a deep breath, remove the snorkel and dive to the bottom. This time, finding a trace of its presence seems to be quite hard. We are thinking of changing area, when something laying on the bottom captures our attention. That's our moray! We were so focused on rocks and cavities that we didn't notice it was completely visible. It took advantages of our need for oxygen and moved from the seagrass to the open space. Its camouflage is still truly impressive, even though the leaves don't cover its body. It allows us to appreciate its anatomy. About one meter long, this species can reach a length of one meter and a half. It starts to move, and suddenly, it rapidly escapes. Hey, where are you going? It is trying to hide into a carpet of dead Posidonia leaves, not so far from the meadow itself. In order to breathe efficiently, it has to open and close its mouth continuously, allowing the oxygenated water to reach its gills. While we are admiring the animal, fascinated by its peculiar aspect, we realize we get too close. Regrettably, it doesn't appreciate our presence. Losing three times in a row is hard to digest. Suddenly, with a strong flick of the tail, it escapes once again, leaving the expanse of Posidonia leaves to find a new shelter in the rocky area nearby. This mistake reminds us the importance of keeping a safe distance from the marine fauna. We, observers in their world, must not interfere with their activities, because it costs them energies and time, putting them in real danger. If we patiently wait, our efforts will definitely be rewarded and marine animals will show us incredible views. Even if we were able to find it multiple times, our old friend deserves a reward for being such a skilled competitor. It has finally found somewhere to grab a bite. While this fish is trying to voraciously swallow the entire prey, we can contemplate its predator abilities in all their glory. It's a real pity that the meal is too big. Ray abandons the fish on the bottom. And sliding in front of the camera, it confirms how curious it is. And also quite a little bit vain, 